Hi and welcome back! The aim of this lecture is to analyze how design can play a crucial role in shaping branding strategy and to provide a framework for understanding how it acts in shaping brands' aesthetics. Codifying a brand language is a fundamental step in orienting the design process and linking it with the strategic and positioning processes. In fact, as luxury branding expert Gerald Mazzalovo has highlighted, brand management operates at the level of brand value and ethics definition, yet it frequently has no tools through which to understand the nature, complexity and implications of brand aesthetics. In the same way, design process tends to operate solely on the basis of an aesthetic vision, taking only limited account of other functional areas and thus frequently ignoring the brand's own enduring values, which represent the intangible basis for its aesthetic and language. But when a brand is present and consolidated within the collective imaginary, its codes become fundamentally important to consumers' mechanism of perception and attribution of meaning to products. In order to guide the design process correctly during the search for a complete synthesis of its own aesthetic codes and those of the brand, it is thus useful to understand the process of translation of the brand's values into tangible signs and symbols. On this topic, the semiotic model introduced by professor and semiologist Andrea Semprini is especially effective as it identifies three levels which characterize the process of codifying the brand identity, from its most intangible level to its tangible expressions. These three levels act between what Semprini defines the brand's encyclopedia of production and the consumer's encyclopedia of perception. The continuous process of gradual translation across the three levels has the function of matching the meanings produced by the brand with the ones perceived by users through a sense-making process. The first one is the axiological level, the most profound, and it is made up of founding and distinctive values. The second one is the narrative level, the staging of values into a narrative style characterizing the brand's personality. The third one is what Semprini calls the thematic level, when the brand's narrative structure translates into real stories, renewed every time a brand expresses itself and materializes into new actions, new products, communication, services, offerings. To serve as a guide for the design process, the Semprini semiotic model can be integrated into a framework to support brand identity interpretation. It represents the complexity of brands' diverse expressions at all three levels, driving to identify the visual codes, signs and symbols, which then translate into its aesthetics. This brand identity model can represent how design acts as a mediator between the intangible and tangible dimensions of the brand progressively translating its value into visual codes, which support three different spheres of brand's expressions – communication, product and retail. Let's start to analyze in detail each level of our brand identity model for fashion, inspired by Semprini's three categories. At a more profound level, the axiological one, identity-building characteristics are seated, which derive from the brand's distinctive values. 
those may relate to the specific historical and the sociocultural context in which the brand originated, may embed unique qualities belonging to local know-how and georeferenced specificity, as well as may incorporate features belonging to the founder's identity of the brand and his own vision. This level, constituting the brand DNA, has the intangible nature of values and has mostly a permanent duration, which is characterized by a slow evolution and an adaptive process to contextual sociocultural changes. That is to say, it usually evolves in the long term, very rarely radically or suddenly. The intermediate level, the narrative one, already incorporates an encoding of brands' intangible values into visual codes, aggregates of signs and symbols which uniquely qualify brand identity through a specific narrative aesthetics. A first set of visual codes translate the brand itself into visual symbols with the so-called corporate visual identity. It is made up, for example, of brand's logo, logotype, iconic colors together with their typical compositional rules, applied within the various media and communication artifacts. A second set of visual codes refer to certain typical product features, which uniquely define the brand's product aesthetic. It can include, for example, specific iconic materials, colors and details applied continuously over time within the brand's offering. These are visual and perceptive elements which, despite seasonal variation, ensure the brand's recognizability within its typical product's aesthetic narrative. A third set of visual codes refers to certain typical interior space features, which uniquely define the brand's retail service aesthetic. It can include, for example, specific interior atmospheres, lighting, colors, material furnishings, as well as specific visual interaction styles across different retail and services channels, including the digital ones. Brand aesthetic, as defined by the French semiologist Jean-Marie Floch, is thus made up of stable and specific elements deriving mainly from visual perceptions, but also from the whole sensory sphere, as is most evident in communication and distribution, where the senses of smell and hearing are very important and can become part of the brand's distinctive narrative style. The intermediate or narrative level is translated into tangible sets of signs and symbols which goes beyond the seasonal changes and are directly connected to customers' visual associations with a specific brand. It evolves in the medium term through an adaptive process of harmonization with changes in cultural and collective imaginaries. Lastly, the more superficial level, the thematic one, is represented by the brand's seasonal and contextual expressions within all points of contact with the end consumers, communication, products and service retail channels. At this level, all sets of permanent aesthetic codes are recombined with signs, symbols and aesthetics deriving from seasonal inspirations and specific design research insights. These last inputs are caught and codified from social, cultural and technological trends to represent a contemporary and or future-oriented aesthetic. Seasonal fashion products and collection well represent this process of shaping the thematic level through seasonal storytelling. Any collection is a new story designed to connect contemporary and future aesthetic visions with the brand values by the mean of the brand-specific narrative style. This same process can be seen also at the level of communication and retail thematic expression.
where any advertising campaign also links to customers' languages with the corporate visual identity, as well as any new shop and retail touch points links brands' typical spatial language with the contextual aesthetic of a specific community and location. On the one hand, brand management is a key function in overseeing the consistency of this continuous process of translation between brand intangible values into its tangible expressions. On the other hand, design processes are key in continuously feeding brand's evolution by linking their aesthetic with contemporary and future imaginaries and styles. So, during this lecture you have seen how design acts as a creative engine to materialize and define brand's aesthetic within the branding processes and why it needs to be linked and involved into shaping brand management strategies.